What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. In today's video, we're checking out the amp that every Grateful Dead guitar player is using, and that is the SMS preamp. So let's go. So what the official name of this amp is, it's the SMS Classic 2 preamp. And basically, it's a Fender preamp in a single space rack unit. Garcia, as we know, was known to use twin reverbs with Mac preamps and JBL speakers, this single rack unit takes the whole huge Fender amp away and puts it in a little rack space. Pair it with a power amp like we are today in the Carvin DCM200L, and you're basically all set. All you need is your JBL speakers, your Garcia equipped guitar with the Obel, some effects, and you're ready to rule the Grateful Dead world of guitar. So in today's video, we're gonna run through the SMS Classic preamp, run it through its paces, right, in some settings that I really enjoy, as well as the Garcia type settings that you see used all around the Grateful Dead world by users such as Stu Allen, Jeff Matheson, Josh Olkin, Zach Nugent, really all the top players are using this preamp. So with all that being said, let's go, cool. All plugged in and ready to go. Rig for today is the Lewis Tiger guitar using the onboard effects loop. That's going into the hubbub, which goes out into a TS9, into a Qtron, back into the hubbub and into the SMS preamp with the settings you can see now. Gain just above noon, treble around two o'clock, mids at about noon, bass at about nine, and then the reverb at noon. I know these aren't the Garcia type settings, but we'll get there in a bit. So here is the clean sound middle pickup. good. Also has a really cool modulated decay on the reverb. Check this out. <laughs> there it is again. With the whole Garcia kit, it really nails that sound. Right? I still think the Must Have Been the Roses riff sounds incredible on this whole system. So now let's check out uh, the same tone, but with some overdrive through the TS9. Oh, also, really cool thing is since it has the oboe, the TS9 is turned on, but by turning off the oboe, I still have my clean tone. Turn the oboe on, and now it's distorted.
amazing. It takes pedals really, really well. Now let's check out with the Qtron. Here is the clean tone. <laughs> Turn the oval on, which has the Qtron, and now we're in business. Again, with the onboard effects loop, it's so much fun. Now it's off. Turn it on, and now you're in business again. Turn on overdrive with the Qtron. Take everything off. Here is the great clean tone. <laughs> So now let's come back in just a quick second, this time with the Garcia settings. And we're back. 
as you can see on the preamp, the settings haven't changed that much actually. Gain is the same around 12 o'clock. The three-way bright switch is now on bright. I added a bit more treble, kept the mids around noon, lowered the bass quite a bit, and still reverb at noon. These are the common settings that I found people like Stu Allen, Jeff Matheson would use um, through their rig. So let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Obviously, way brighter. That is much more in the Garcia DNA as to the tone that I preferred, which was with the bright switch in the middle, like previous tone, a little less ice picky, right? But that's the sound, right? For me, coming from like the ODS type sound and like a more Fender on steroids, th that sound is a little too bright because it's all adds up. A lot of treble from the amp, the JBLs in the aux, the high output pickups is just more treble on treble, right? Um, but again, that is the sound that would be needed for the Garcia that you could be playing, right? <laughs> Let's check out like Jack Straw. Let's check out with the TS9, clean tone.
a lot of gain. Right, so even more in position two with the humbucker in the middle and bridge, it nails that Samson overdrive tone a little better, right? A little more spark in the top end, especially when you do the double stop. Even here on the 11th, 13th fret, you can hear the feedback already. SMS preamp, the key to the modern day Garcia tone, the Jerry Garcia starter pack. <laughs> well, all right, guys, that is today's video on the SMS preamp an almost crucial part to the modern day Garcia type rig, right? Like mentioned in the beginning of the video, have your Garcia type guitar, your effects, your JBL speakers, and your SMS preamp with a power amp, whether that's like today, the Carvin or even a Mac 50 preamp like he used, you are ready to rule the world in the Garcia music and Grateful Dead music. So with all that being said, if you did enjoy the video today, please press like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.